Akit Chaudhary had demanded the removal of Sengol from Lok Sabha, calling it at an, uh, uh, as an anarchic symbol of monarchy in a democratic India. And also he has said that Sengol should be replaced by a replica of constitution. And what is your comment? Uh, sir, actually to say in our very literature, Tamil literature, in Tirukural, Tiruvalluvar also has uh, talked about uh, Sengol. So there is a separate adhikaram for Sengol called as Sengon Mai. So what is the actual thing is, whether it is a, the, uh, in those days, nowadays we have a ruler. In those days, he is called as Raja. So the Raja for him, the upholding the Dharma, that is the scepter or Sengol. So in those days, in the Sengol, if he is a Shaivite king, um, the top of the Danda or the scepter will be a Rishabha. The Rishabha is the symbol or the representation of Dharma, that is upholding the Dharma. Nowadays, modern day, we have the ruler. The same rule applies to modern day also. So the scepter or the Sengol, it is the representation for upliftment of Dharma. So it is given, handed over by the priest or the Rajaguru to the king so that he will Take care of Danda means not punishment, it is the upliftment of the Dharma. Why it is given? What is Raja Dharma? What is the Dharma means duty? So in order to take care of the subjects, the citizens, in an equal level, whatever may be the Dharma, it is equal for the righteousness, virtue should be equal for all the citizens. That is what the scepter or Sengol is representing. When the ruler was annoyed, there is coronation, during the anointment ceremony, he will be given the sword. That is sword represents the Veera or the valor and the scepter uh, in the meantime it uh, represents the upliftment of dharma so that i should look all uh, look all the subjects as my equal there shouldn't be any difference so when during those days when the king the raja was uh, given the thing very uh, in our very literature in the devaram one of the devaram of uh, trinyana samdar he talks about the sengol it is called as kolar padikam kol so when the Raja was given that uh, power, transfer of power to rule the kingdom, so in the Kolari Padigam says that hereafter we will rule, uh, the, take the uh, no, rule of uh, kings, that is Raja Shasanam as uh, no, our uh, primer thing or uh, priority. That is what, so when my uh, teacher taught uh, know all these things, he is uh, Padmam Bhushan Awadi, Dr. R. Nagaswami, so he has uh, written uh, quite a lot of things about the Sengol and uh, the Sengol is nothing but a scepter which represents the Dharma. So not only for Raja, even in our uh, travel accounts and all the uh, epigraphs we can found about this uh, Raja Nadna Sengol. Uh, of course, it is very saddening for uh, no scholars like us to hear about uh, such comments. So the Sengol or the Raja Danda, the Danda means not, once again, uh, let me reiterate, it is not for the giving punishment, but it is for the upholding of knowledge, uh, upholding of Dharma, sorry. So without uh, the prayer uh, knowledge of all these things, uh, these comments is very, uh, as a pra practicing uh, Hindu or uh, Indian, so the scepter is very, very important. That is why in the Briti after the, you know, when we got uh, freedom, that is why the British government, when we are about to leave, it was handed over to the Thiruvadudurai Adinam. When they have uh, transferred the power to our Prime Minister, they have given that uh, danda. That is why we have kept in our parliament also. And after uh, many, many years, it was kept in museum, but it has been taken into the parliament again. Again, now this kind of... Uh, yes, uh, actually, when uh, we came to know about the Sengol, it represents actually about our Tamil country. So, from Tamil Nadu, this uh, Sengol has been uh, no, given to the uh, then Prime Minister. It is very, very uh, gladful thing. And also, we would like to see that uh, Sengol in our uh, new parliament as a uh, Indian citizen, true citizen. So, the knowledge about the Sengol or the scepter or the Danda should be uh, given uh, to each and every one. I think nowadays uh, there are lots of, uh, you know, whether should I say as gossip or many, many thoughts have come about the Sengol, but uh, Sengol uh, should be kept as a uh, no Hindu or a citizen. What I think is Sengol should be in the parliament that represents actually our, the true power.
Uh, yes, Tamilian, what I say is, so whoever, uh, uh, if it is a, he is a Shaivite or a Vaishnavite, for a Vaishnavite, the, the Garuda will be on the top of the Sengol. For the Shaivite, uh, no, it will be the Rishabha Danda. Once again, Garuda and Rishabha, they are the upliftment of Dharma. So Sengol, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Thiruvalluvar or the Kolarupadikam or any, many, many literature in the Sangam, we, there are many quotes about the Sengol or the scepter. So, uh, I think that uh, it should be there. It shouldn't be replaced. I, it, this is a request. Yeah, is it a request to... Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it is a request uh, as a uh, Hindu f or a Indian, Indian citizen. It should be there. It, uh, it is actually the pride for us to look into the scepter or the Sengol. Thank you.